Coffee is a beloved beverage enjoyed by millions worldwide. Its rich aroma and stimulating effects have made it a morning ritual for many. However, concerns about its health impacts, especially on the prostate, often stir debate. Let's delve into the science behind coffee's effects on the body, separating fact from fiction. Addressing these concerns requires understanding coffee's active components. Caffeine, a stimulant, is the most well-known. However, coffee also contains antioxidants and other bioactive compounds. These components interact with our bodies in complex ways, contributing to both potential benefits and risks. Navigating this complex landscape of information can be challenging. This exploration aims to provide clarity, empowering you to make informed choices about coffee consumption. We will explore the latest scientific evidence, shedding light on how coffee truly interacts with your body. The prostate, a small gland in men, is often linked to coffee in health discussions. Does coffee harm the prostate? The answer, based on current research, is not straightforward. Some studies suggest a potential link between coffee consumption and a reduced risk of prostate cancer. These studies highlight the role of coffee's antioxidants in protecting cells from damage. However, other research indicates that coffee might exacerbate certain prostate conditions, like benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. BPH involves an enlarged prostate, causing urinary issues. The conflicting findings underscore the need for more research. Individual responses to coffee vary. Factors like genetics, overall health, and lifestyle play a role. Consulting your doctor for personalized advice is crucial, especially if you have existing prostate concerns. Coffee's impact on the heart is another area of interest. Caffeine, a stimulant, can temporarily increase heart rate and blood pressure. For most healthy adults, these effects are short-lived and not harmful. However, individuals with pre-existing heart conditions should exercise caution. Moderate coffee consumption has been associated with potential cardiovascular benefits. Studies suggest that coffee may improve blood vessel function and reduce the risk of heart disease. However, excessive intake can contribute to palpitations and anxiety, negatively impacting heart health. The key takeaway is moderation. Listening to your body is crucial. If you experience any unusual heart rhythms or discomfort after consuming coffee, consult your doctor. Individual responses vary and personalized advice is essential. The liver, a vital organ responsible for detoxification, is also influenced by coffee consumption. Studies show that coffee may protect against liver diseases, including liver cancer and cirrhosis. This protective effect is attributed to coffee's antioxidants and its ability to reduce inflammation. Coffee consumption has been linked to a lower risk of developing fatty liver disease. This condition, characterized by fat accumulation in the liver, is becoming increasingly prevalent. Coffee's beneficial effects on liver health highlight its potential role in promoting overall well-being. However, excessive coffee consumption can strain the liver. Moderation is key. It's important to maintain a balanced diet and lifestyle to support liver health. Consulting your doctor for personalized advice is recommended, especially if you have any existing liver conditions. Section 5. Beyond the Bean, Exploring Other Effects of Coffee Coffee's influence extends beyond the prostate, heart, and liver. Research suggests that coffee may enhance cognitive function, boost mood, and improve physical performance. These effects are primarily attributed to caffeine's stimulating properties. Studies have shown that coffee may protect against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The antioxidants in coffee are believed to play a role in this protective effect. However, more research is needed to fully understand the long-term benefits. While coffee offers potential benefits, it also has drawbacks. Excessive consumption can lead to anxiety, insomnia, and digestive issues. It's crucial to be mindful of your individual response to coffee and adjust your intake accordingly. Section 6. Brewing a Balanced Perspective Weighing the Pros and Cons Coffee, like many things in life, 
presents a balance of potential benefits and risks. Its impact on our bodies is complex and influenced by various factors. Understanding both sides of the coin allows for informed choices. On the positive side, coffee's antioxidants may protect against certain diseases, including prostate cancer. Its stimulating effects can enhance alertness and cognitive function. Moderate consumption may even offer cardiovascular benefits. However, excessive coffee intake can lead to negative consequences. Caffeine can trigger anxiety, disrupt sleep, and exacerbate certain health conditions. Individual responses vary, and listening to your body is crucial. Section 7. Decaffeinating the Dilemma Is decaf a healthier choice? Decaffeinated coffee offers an alternative for those sensitive to caffeine. It retains most of the antioxidants and beneficial compounds found in regular coffee, but without the stimulating effects. Decaf may be a suitable option for individuals with heart conditions or those prone to anxiety. However, decaffeination processes can vary. Some methods may remove beneficial compounds along with caffeine. Choosing high-quality decaffeinated coffee is important to ensure you're still reaping the potential health benefits. Ultimately, the choice between regular and decaffeinated coffee depends on individual preferences and health considerations. Consulting your doctor can help you determine the most suitable option for your specific needs. Enjoying coffee while minimizing potential risks involves mindful consumption. Here are some practical tips to consider. First, moderate your intake. Stick to three to four cups of coffee per day for most adults. Adjust this amount based on your individual sensitivity to caffeine. Secondly, choose quality coffee. Opt for organic, shade-grown coffee beans whenever possible. These beans are typically higher in antioxidants and lower in harmful pesticides. Lastly, listen to your body. Pay attention to how your body responds to coffee. If you experience any negative effects, reduce your intake or switch to decaf. Each person's response to coffee is unique. Factors like genetics, metabolism, and overall health play a role. Paying attention to your body's signals is crucial for determining your optimal coffee intake. If you experience anxiety, insomnia, or digestive issues after consuming coffee, consider reducing your intake or switching to decaf. Experimenting with different brewing methods and coffee bean varieties can also help you find what best suits your body. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to coffee consumption. Consulting your doctor can provide personalized guidance based on your specific health considerations and lifestyle. While coffee plays a role in prostate health, it's just one piece of the puzzle. A holistic approach encompassing diet, lifestyle, and stress management is essential for overall well-being. Maintaining a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains is crucial. Regular exercise, stress reduction techniques, and adequate sleep also contribute to prostate health and overall vitality. Remember, your body is an interconnected system. Addressing prostate health requires a comprehensive approach that considers all aspects of your well-being. Coffee, a beloved beverage enjoyed by millions, offers both potential benefits and risks. Understanding its complex effects on the body empowers us to make informed choices. Moderation, quality, and individual awareness are key to enjoying coffee while minimizing potential harms. By listening to our bodies, choosing high-quality coffee, and adopting a holistic approach to health, we can embrace coffee as part of a balanced lifestyle. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate coffee entirely, but to savor it wisely, appreciating its nuances while prioritizing our well-being.